Welcome to another episode of Beer Buzz. Buzz around you. St. James in Reno. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Nice to meet you guys. We're here tasting uh, the red. Uh, explain a little bit about the red. That yeah, we're so what today. we're tasting right now is kind of becoming our flagship beer. It's the Red-Headed Stranger Saison. It's um, uh, probably our, definitely our most popular beer right now. Uh, the two other beers that we're pouring today are the Third Man Triple, uh, traditional uh, Belgian triple. And then our seasonal is a summertime Pilsner, dry hops with uh, citra hops. So good light beer for the people. So I know uh, what kind of specialty beers you guys are brewing uh, in the future or now at the tap room? Well, right now we have a pretty good barrel program going on, a sour uh, cast program going on mm -hmm. as well. So we have a Oud Bruin program that we're, do we're starting up. So we'll always have an Oud Bruin on starting next year. We have uh, six barrels of Flanders Red, 100% okay. um, barrel aged um, Saisons, which will mm -hmm. be bottled in the, uh, the end of August. Okay. That's called the uh, 1904 Saison, so that's 100% Britannomyces. Okay. Um, and so, other than the sour program, we do traditional Belgian and German and Old World style of beers. Oh, sounds great. Yeah. If anybody wants more information about your uh, beers and stuff like that, where, where can they find you guys? Well, we're on Instagram at the underscore brasserie underscore St. James. Uh, we're on Twitter, and then we have um, our website and Facebook as well for um, up-to-date info on taps and different um, loyalty programs and uh, events that we're doing in Reno, Nevada. All right. Sounds good, James. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Cheers. From Mammoth Lakes. Cheers. So we're here with the Brewmaster yep. CEO? No, Brewmaster uh, President, founding Brewmaster. I started the company in my garage and uh, cool. our CEO couldn't make it. His name's Jerry Moore. Okay. So yes, yeah, the two of us. And, and then we're also here with the brewer yeah. of Knee Deep Brewing Company. Welcome to the show, guys. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Prost, come by. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is hopped out. So that is the Hopperillo. Yes, that, that's our newest uh, year, year round. Triple IPA, really focusing on the Amarillo, uh, Mosaic, and Citra hops. Okay. Yeah, it's like a hop bomb. It is. It's I'll definitely aggressive, man. <laughs> I get, I get uh, more of a, a real nice tropical, Starburst-like uh, Yeah, you got the, the grapefruit. Mouth. It's just yeah. like, so, yeah, it's just showing in your mouth. Yep. Right on, man. Yeah, I'm a big fan of you guys' Till and Porter. Yeah, thanks, man. It's, it's really, yeah. really good. That The vanilla notes on that are perfect. Whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it, man. Absolutely, man. Solid yeah. beers. So uh, what do you guys have uh, here for today? Well, the today we're really? obviously the Hopperilla, which we just talked about. Uh, one of our uh, staples, the Simtra Triple IPA, that focuses on Citra and Simcoe hops. We also decided to bring two experimental uh, beers. Experimentals. This is, is a pale ale brewed exclusively with Simcoe hops all the mm. way through. And then we also brought one with the new HPC 366, which is Equinox, and it's a, an IPA using just 100% Equinox hops all the way throughout. Cool, man. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably gonna be drinking a lot of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so at the uh, I guess at the the facility that you guys have the tap room, I'm assuming. Yeah. Do you guys do a lot of experimental stuff? Or? We did. We when we expanded to the new Auburn facility, we kept the Lincoln facility for a while. Now it's okay. got 15 barrel system. Right on. And so we were cranking about eight batches a month, just experimentals. That's cool. You know, we brewed like six different session IPAs. We really wanted to perfect a session IPA, and the problem okay. that we are encountering now is. They're all really, really good. <laughs> so now we're like, which one do we go to market with? And right. So now we're talking about maybe uh, releasing four um, session IPAs every quarter for the first year and kind of let the consumers um, and the, uh, the demand kind of dictate what direction we should go. Cool, man. Well, right on. If people want to get more information from uh, from you guys, you guys got a Facebook, Twitter? Should yeah, you? we're at uh, Facebook is at Needy Brew Co. We also have uh, Instagram at Needy Brewing Co. We also have our website at kneedeepbrewing.com, cool. and uh, yeah, we're, we're all over. Right on, man. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed you weren't saying anything, so hey, feel I, free to jump in. I let him do his thing. So. <laughs> well, well, Chris over here, uh, he, he uh, 
Just was drinking too much last night. That's what happens, man. Yeah, Palooza Palooza. They don't do yeah. that to you. I drag the brewers out and it's getting down. <laughs> right on, guys. Well, thank you for taking time, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Again, cheers guys. Yeah. To a good event. Awesome. Cheers, everybody. So here we're here with James from Brasserie Saint James. Jordan. Uh, Jordan. Jordan. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Jordan. Sorry. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> I know, right? Jordan, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some beer.